Hey guys, it's Peter, and welcome back to my video where I discuss falling down the rabbit hole of YouTube obsession. Do you have any idea what I'm going to talk about today? Well, not much, because my phone's about to run out of battery, and so I can't show you the history of all of the videos, which is fine, because I was just watching the reunion of The Real Housewives of New York, and I kind of would prefer to watch that anyway, because... Everything on YouTube is so boring this week, you guys. I'm so over it. And you guys are giving me these recommendations. And oh, I'm so bored with the recommendation. I need some good, good stuff. But I will say this, that I read on Twitter. And no, I'm not like one of those Twitter stalkers that's like, oh my God, what is that? Nah, nah, nah. But I happen to go through Sanders' like thing on his Twitter. Because people always say that he says all this kind of stuff, Sanders Kennedy. His Twitter is boring too. You guys, like he promises all this stuff about like, it's so funny because somebody commented on my video and they, and we're going to talk about comments in a section, in a section, or in a second. Somebody commented that he talks about receipts, receipts, receipts. Okay, so like, this must be like YouTube lingo that I'm not aware of that receipts are like, let me show you right here where it happened. Is that a receipt? Go through Sanders Kennedy's uh, Twitter. That's all I'm saying, okay? To find out what a phony he is. Because somebody said he always talks about how he's going to put the receipt up right here and then he never does. If you go through his Twitter about a week ago, he asks he asks the Twitter world. He says, "Could somebody let me know a good app for capturing uh, capturing receipts?" Oh, well, I thought you already knew how to do that because you were going to include them in the camera. But anyway, Sanders, I hope you feel much better because one of the things that I did find out on Twitter last night was that Annie, Manny MUA and Patrick Starr are friends again and followed each other on Instagram. And I told you, just listen to Peter because I know these things. They're going to work their shit out. Trust me. Okay, so anyway, let me tell you what has happened in the last 24 hours uh, since I've been on YouTube. Well, I got Jimmy John's. That's one thing. Did I have mustard on my mouth? Did you guys go to Jimmy John's? I love Jimmy John's. Anyway. Do you guys want to know who my favorite uh, Real Housewife of New York is? Can you guess? <laughs> if you can guess, put it in the comment section below. And if you guys watched the reunion, can somebody tell me what that crazy dress was that Carol was wearing? Is that like a Chanel vintage or something? It was horrible. I did not understand it at all. But anyway, um, that you guys, we can't talk about the Real Housewives of New York or any of them, because that's like real gossip. We have to talk about gossip about YouTubers that aren't in any anybody. So let me get right to this, first of all. Somebody told me to go watch this Shannon Rose. Is that her name? She was a porn star or something. One of my biggest pet peeves, this is kind of a pun, a lyrical pun. One of my biggest pet peeves is when girls pet their hair, their extensions. I hate that, okay? Like, if you want people to believe your extensions are real, which is, why else would you get them if you didn't want people to think your extensions were real? Why are you petting them? People don't pet their hair. Okay, that's crazy. The, what is that? I can't stand that. All those Kardashians do it. I love the Kardashians. Don't get me wrong. My husband watches it. I sit there and I just laugh and laugh and laugh. I love it. But uh, I just can't stand when people pet their hair. I don't understand that at all. So anyway, a couple people, okay, about comments. Let me just say this about the comments. I am living for the comments that you guys are leaving on my videos. <laughs> oh my God, I love them so much. Somebody commented about my pumpkins and said they loved my Halloween decoration. So thank you. Welcome to Rosine's Go Roseanne's Gossip Hour. And then somebody else said, okay, a couple people commented on my age and like I'm too old to be talking about gossip. Anyway, and then um, do you guys see who like the people are on TV that do like the Real Housewives reunions? Those are gossip people. I I'm just saying, okay, they're like 10 years older than me. But anyway, and I don't really give a shit if you think I'm old anyway. If I'm 80 and I'm making videos, that's what I'll do. I mean, so do your YouTube history. Zippy was one of the very original YouTubers that I watched back in the day. Very original. Very first, if you want to watch a great documentary, it's called At The Zoo. I think it's called At The Zoo. And it's all about the how YouTube got originated, originated, how it started. And uh, it talks about Zippy on there. And he was like one of the very first ones. And he was like in his late 60s or early 70s. So what? So you want to talk about me being old? I don't really care. Talk about it all day long. But I ain't nobody on YouTube anyway, so talk about me. It'll just get me more views. I don't really care. So anyway... And then, this was the best comment ever. Oh my god, whoever said this to me, I love you, okay? Because I was so like, oh shit, I already have my permanent title on my YouTube channel. Which I've had for years, because it's just my name. But anyway, somebody said, 
I saw your, um, your thumbnail and I thought you were going to be a hillbilly homophobe. <gasps> Oh my God, you guys, I loved that comment. I got laughing so hard in the, in the car when I saw that because of course I do read the comments, text and drive and I know I shouldn't. But anyway, I was at a stoplight, I swear. But anyway, I was reading that comment and I got laughing so hard. I was like, that would be the most perfect channel name for me, the hillbilly homophobe. And then you come to my channel and you find out that that's not what it is. But I guess I just do really look that country and hillbilly because I have a beard and I wear a trucker hat. I mean, this is a trucker hat from Ultra Music Festival in Miami, you guys. So it's not like, I mean, I danced with Brian Boy, the fashion blogger last year. We hung out for two days in a row. If you know who he is, I got the picture so you can see it. And I'm not just saying that like receipts. It was fact. Go to my uh, Instagram. You can see it on there. And uh, so like, I'm not that hillbilly, I guess. I told him he had to call me Poppy. But uh, so feel free to call me Poppy or Daddy. <laughs> I love that Sanders Kennedy said that he loves when he, his subscribers call him dad. Who is calling you dad? And then he goes into this whole thing about how, like, uh, like he's not really the dad, but he wants to be a role model. Are you, you know you're not that dumb, okay? That this whole mom, dad thing is like this internet slang bullshit that young kids do. But that also, if they're saying like daddy, that's like, and you're nobody's daddy. I mean, I know I'm nobody's daddy, okay? So let's just be for real. Although somebody did comment underneath uh, my video. They're like, ooh, zaddy. I was like, all right, woof, woof. But anyway, so that's what happened. So I'm reading these comments. All right, are you ready? Because this is not clickbait, you guys. If there's a title at the top, you're gonna get your story. I'm not like Sanders Kennedy, okay? Who, by the way, kept on tweeting things out the whole time he was at Playlist Live, and he was like, oh, do this, do this, can't wait to see this, and can't wait to tell you guys this. Oh, I have so many stories to tell you from Playlist Live, so many stories. Go watch this video from Playlist Live. It is so, ooh, so boring, you guys. It's like, he doesn't say anything. And he talks about Miles J getting drunk. Listen. I have watched Miles J for years, ever since that. Like my video if you like my video. I love Miles J, okay? Miles J is stuck in that depressing ass apartment bedroom where he takes all of his videos for years. If he wants to get out, turn it out, and dance on the dance floor drunk, have at it, Miles, okay? We interviewed Miles J years and years ago, and it was like one of the most fantastic interviews I've ever. Fantastic, here, Billy, homophobe. It's like one of the most fantastic. I could even have a theme song, and then I could go available on iTunes. But anyway. Uh, welcome to the hillbilly homophobe. <laughs> that was so dumb. Anyway, so I'm reading through my comments, okay? Yeah, I'm reading through my comments. Oh, but, oh, but, but back to that. So Sanders says he loves when his subscribers call him dad. I'm like, you are nobody's daddy. And then I found, did you guys see the video that he does shirtless? <sighs> Sanders, come on, honey. Sweetie, I love you, but like, no, no, ma'am. Okay, so anyway, and, uh, oh, and then somebody else uh, unsubscribed subscribe to me, one of my 200 subscribers <laughs> unsubscribed to me because I said I love Trisha Paytas, and they're like, oh, she's supporting Donald Trump, and uh, she's one of those bad Christians. She's a YouTuber. I don't give a shit what she thinks. I mean, I really don't. It's not like I'm breaking bread with her, and we're sitting there, and I'm trying to convince her politically who she should vote for. She, I'm not, you guys, we're not that close. I mean, I love her YouTube presence. I don't know that I love her as a person. I don't know her as a person. So if you hate me for that, whatever. I mean, it doesn't take long to figure out that I'm gay. I'm married to somebody that's Latino. I'm probably not voting for Donald Trump. But I'm not going to get into a political debate about it on a gossip channel on YouTube. And then, so I went to Shannon Rose's channel. She's so boring, you guys. Petting her hair. And she, I watched this video that she did about... Somebody said, oh, she's so funny. No, she's not. She's boring. And is that her husband that she does the videos with? Is he gay? Like, he seemed... I, I don't... I mean, I have bad gaydar. I am not like Charles Gross. I have no gaydar. But, like, when he talks in there about the Murder, Mary Fuck video or whatever, what that game is that people play, where he talks about how, and it's all real funny. That was actually my favorite video of hers that she did because it really wasn't about her. It was about Travis, whoever. Is that her husband? I don't understand. But anyway, but he's real funny. I like that guy. So I watched this video of hers, and then she goes into this whole thing about, like, hate comments on YouTube. And how hard it is for her. And that her one example was that she talked in there about having a stalker. And um, that this stalker was going through her trash. 
But she lives in a gated community, so it couldn't have been a homeless person. And people commented and said, it's a homeless person. You're paranoid. It wasn't a homeless person. I live in a gated community. I was like, get over yourself. I live in a gated community, and anybody can walk over the gate. It's not that big of a deal. Seriously? Like, go file a restraining order like the rest of the world. If you put your world out there on YouTube videos, and you talk about the shit that she talks about, like... Wanting to have 20,000 kids, and I was a porn star, and my marriage sucks, and I have mental disorders. Get ready. I mean, people are going to comment on it. You think that Westboro Baptist Church hasn't commented on every gay YouTuber that's out there? Get clear. Come on now. Figure it out, okay? If you think a comment, like, uh, you're paranoid because you think your stalker is going through your trash is hate. Imagine being a gay YouTuber and getting a comment like, I'm going to fuck you in the ass with a blah, 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 you faggoty faggot. Okay? I've received comments like that before. That's hate. So, get on, maybe. Um, so, anyway, and then I just delete, block, is what I do. Then the other thing is, I'm so bored of these videos, and you, get, you guys, I'm really, really disappointed. My number one all-time favorite YouTuber, except for Tyler Oakley, is Casey Neistat. And I just saw that he put up this video about, like, oh, YouTube's not paying me anymore for my video. Shut up. I am tired of hearing about it. I don't need to hear 20 people's views on why YouTube isn't paying. You signed a contract. Okay, I know every fuck that comes out of my mouth that they're probably not going to advertise on this. And it's not like they make anything off of it anyway. I only get about 25 views. So I'm sorry that you have a million views and you're a great YouTuber and have a great following. Get sponsorship if YouTube's not going to pay you anymore. Are you really making that much off of YouTube? Because if you are, I am about to sell my soul to the devil for a hot YouTube channel. I am dead serious about that. Like, oh my God, how much do these people make? I want to know how much they make. I tried to figure it out one time, like... Time, because you know, like if you if you're a YouTube creator, you know how like much you can make percent, blah blah blah, whatever. But like, you guys, I'm for real. Like, get over it. Like, or do something creative. I'm tired of that video. It's the same title on every video, and they all refer to Philip DeFranco. And you guys, Philip DeFranco is just complaining about it every day. And you guys are just like, it's a circle jerk. I'm tired of it. So anyway, I got so bored, you guys. And I go, and I go to this Charles uh, Gross. You guys know I love Charles Gross, right? So I'm going, going to his video. Here, I'm trying to pick out my history. And it's called, it's something about annoying YouTubers. And I thought, damn it, Charles watched my video. And he's going to say something about me because the world rotates around Peter Mon in Indianapolis, Indiana. Joke, right? So I go to his, his thing, which is so funny. He always says his videos laying in bed. I love him so much. And he does this whole video about, uh, you know, annoying YouTubers and how they don't put content up for like a month or two at a time. And then they promise they're going to put all this great content up, but they never really do it. And how sick and tired of it. It's a preach, baby. Preach on. Thank you. I am so tired of that. I am so tired of getting attached to a YouTuber just to find out that they disappear for a month because they don't have the right lip gloss or something. And then they come back and they're like, well, I promise that when I come back, I'm going to have such creative content. You're going to love it so much. You're going to love me so much. And then they come back and they don't do anything. They do like a favorites. And it's like so boring. It's like perfume that came out like six months ago. Who cares? Okay. So anyway, go to the dollar store and buy some must body spray or something. Especially if you're losing money from your clicks on YouTube. Anyway. So I love his video so much. But in there he talks about how he loves these new authentic creative YouTubers. And I'm like, is he talking about me? Is he talking about me? Because I'm so creative and authentic and new, right? As if Charles Gross would be talking about me. So I'm like, whatever. And I love the video. But anyway, and then I went and I like watched another one of his. And then I was like laying in bed and I'm going through my uh, comments. And I did this video the other day. If you haven't seen it, I list like every YouTuber in the world and that I talked about in that video. And guess who my first comment was? It was from Charles Gross. Oh my God. I literally was like this. Like, I mean, I know you guys that he is not like Celine Dion or something. Not that I would even give a shit if she farted on my face. I cannot stand Celine Dion. But anyway, who's somebody that I really, really love? <laughs> I don't even know. I'm like, I'm so unimpressed. Stevie Nicks. I, that's so old school. I just showed how old I am. Like, if Stevie Nicks walked in here right now, I'd be like, probably Alaska from RuPaul's Drag Race. I love Alaska. But anyway, I mean, I am so just, like, not impressed. Uh, but anyway, so I 
he is like celebrity icon to me of YouTube. I love Charles Gross. And so I like died when he did that. So basically, okay, because then he said, and his I went back and watched the annoying video just to f check and see if he was talking about me, which I'm almost pretty sure that he is. And I was like, oh my God, he's talking about me. And then in there he says, if you tweet me, I'll tweet you out a, a, like, you know, an emoji or something like cute like that. And I'm not even follow you back. And so, of course, I followed him and I tweeted him. I've been waiting 15 hours and he still hasn't tweeted me back and I haven't even gotten like a little bunny emoji or the detective. And I'm real over it. Charles has sent it to me because basically we're in love online now. Now, I mean, I already have a husband, but we're on love online. My husband is young too. So anyway, and I don't think that he would care for me dating somebody else. And he is Latino just like you. But that's not the point. The point is we're online husbands now, okay? You left a comment on my video. I love you, Charles Gross. You made my day. Thank you so much. Oh, you guys. I hope you know I'm not super serious about that. I mean, I do love Charles Gross, you guys. And it did, like, shock the shit out of me when I read the comment. I was like, all right, hey. And we are online husbands now. So just <laughs> don't go looking anywhere else. And I don't want to see any more of those sex videos, okay? Because you're mine now, Charles. Anyway, that's it. Leave some more sections of who I should watch. I watched that Chucky the Vegan guy, you guys. He's so boring. So boring boring and his hair is weird anyway so uh i love you guys and i'll talk to you later <laughs> bye halloween